What's up, card community? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another day of weirdness and just rambunctiousness. If you're not already a subscriber, I think you need to be. It's not hard at all. It's right down there. It doesn't cost anything. You become an, um, a member of this team that can't speak. So that's really good. And it's great to put on your resume. So you should do it. Um, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. And yeah, share this video so other people can enjoy all of the shenanigans we're about to go through. So, what are we about to go through? We're gonna try different types of caviar. Cause I'm bougie, and I'm about that bougie lifestyle. So, we have one, two, three, four, five different types of caviar or roe. And when I started this video, I didn't know what the difference was. So, let me tell you from what the English Stack Exchange tells me, according to Google. So, and I quote, they refer to the same thing, fish eggs. However, the term roe refers to the fish eggs or male fish sperm themselves, while caviar is roe that has been salted or cured and then placed in tins for storage and aging. In the United States and Canada, any product that is only labeled caviar must come from sturgeon roe. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess it's sturgeon, not salmon. I would have thought it was salmon. Mm -hmm. We're concerned our rabbit's out. She lives a crazy lifestyle. So, I have two things that are roe, and then two things that are caviar. So I guess these ones are just salted, but I don't know because she asked me when I bought this one if it was salted or like not as salted, but I like salty, so I went for salty, so I guess I got official caviar. Mmm, boosh. So let's start smallest and go up to like the most cray cray. So they're all like red except for this one black one, so I wanted to get another black one, but like it's a little expensive. I don't have that kind of budget. So... We'll end with this bad boy. So, we have two from Ikea. This is like impersonation, imitation, that's what I'm trying to say. Imitation, see, see what am I saying? Imitation caviar, because it's not based from fish eggs at all. It's red seaweed based caviar imitation. So, like it looks like, I mean, honestly, this is probably what most of... This is what I tend to see on, like, sushi. It looks a lot like this. So, you can't really see it. My camera won't let me get in as closely. But, like, you can kind of see how it's, like, little pellets. So, I've tried this already. I've tried this one already. So, both of these are from Ikea, out of all places. Um, so, this is technically caviar. It's creamed. So, this is from cod so this is cod based this is seaweed based i've tried both this is super salty so i can try it for you but like it's not gonna be like oh my god my first time and i don't want to fake it because i'm the realest lady here so i'm not about faking it and then this tastes like carrots to be perfectly honest it tastes like salted carrots so i will try it just so you know i'm not faking it this is what the inside looks like it's actually delicious on like those big like wheat crackers. I think it's like Wasa. Wasa's the brand and they make multi-grain like long crackers. Or again, Ikea has these kind of crackers too with like some laughing cow cheese and this on top. Delish. So that's it. It's salty carrots. I should know I have water. Okay. And um, this is just salt, really, like, so this is creamed, so it's not like, it comes out like looking like a little derpy toothpaste, and again, on that weedy kind of bread, are we going to focus, my camera is having quite a day, there we go, on that weedy bread cracker stuff with the laughing cow cheese, it's great, this one's definitely more fishy, like, it's cod, so it's super, like, 
cotty and like salty. Let me let me take some agua, some aquatic. Do you want to try any? Mm -mm. <laughs> My boyfriend's like hard fast. Are you gonna stick with your chicken eggs? Hell yeah. <laughs> Science. Okay, so we'll finish with these because these two both no, these came from the same place. This came not. But this one, this one's the most legit. Okay, we'll finish with that. So I got salmon roe. So this is salmon roe. I got it for, and these aren't as expensive. So this was eight forty nine for a hundred grams of salmon roe. I got it from the TNT supermarket, which is like an Asian grocery store. Um, and you can get it in a tin. Like this is lump fish. I don't know what that means. I'm a little nervous about it. So this is lump fish. This is the only black caviar that I have. We can't focus. We'll focus on her later. But um, I want to say that there was one very similar to this. I don't think it was lump fish. It was something else. But it was like in a tin instead of like prepackaged like this. But this one was like less expensive and less of an amount. So I was like, I don't know if I'm going to eat this every day for a while. I mean, I'm going to have to. Cause I don't want to waste it. But... It would just made more sense. I think the other one was like 200 grams. So they look like this. They smell very fishy. Let's take a little clumpy. Bouge. I don't want these to fall off. They're kind of slimy. Like when you separate them, it's a little goopy. Mmm, goops. There we go. So that's what they look like. They're just little red bowls. So, nope, we're going the wrong way. Okay. It tastes like if you swallow seawater. But it's got the consistency of what I imagine boogers to have. That's delightful. Um... I mean, it's roe, so it's not salted. So it's just fishy. I think I'd throw some salt on it. But again, I think it would be great on some cream, not cream cheese, uh, cream cheese would probably be fine too. But laughing cow cheese, recommend. Now I won't lie, I did try a scoop of this when I bought it. And this is, I got this from um, the, what was it called? European market. Yeah, sounds about right. But it was something else. Maybe it was just European Deli and Market. So it's got a bunch of stuff from like more Eastern Europe and like Germany, it seemed to be. And so this is like Russian quality caviar. But they said that this was caviar, caviar. So I'm creeping. What a thrill. So I assume this is sturgeon, not salmon. And I had assumed it was salmon because it tasted salmon-y. But the smell is different too. Like this, I don't know, this smells more like meaty to me than fishy. Mm. Do you want to sniff? No, I'm good. To offer a second opinion. <laughs> Do it for the video. Hard pass. Mm. Hard pass. He knows his limit. He's playing within it. <laughs> So I don't know, I've tried this, these aren't, and those ones were like, the ones I just had were kind of dry. I'll show you, they're the same as the other ones. So that's what they look like. It's slightly out of focus, but I'm like losing my patience. No. I don't like them anymore. I don't know I liked them before, but now they were fine at first and then they just got fishy. But it's a different kind of fishy than this one. And they're slightly drier. Again, these have been in my fridge for a little bit longer than this one, but they've been in my fridge since like Tuesday and it's like Monday so they've been in there for like a week which probably isn't the greatest because they're not like hard packaged like this so if we get sick we know why um that was a 
very soul to me. Ah, okay. Lastly, we're gonna finish with black caviar. This is from Lumpfish. I don't know what a lumpfish is, but it looks gross. Look at he looks like a dirt, and I'm not about it. So that's a lump fish. I did it. Wow. I mean, it doesn't smell horrid. That's what it looks like. Just black. So these are little pearls. They're little like these. And it's labeled as caviar. So I guess there's salt in it. feel about that it's definitely the easiest to eat aside from the fake one like in terms of like actual fish egg I'd have to say this is my favorite the black lump fish ones and it might just be a texture thing too. Like these are large and they like burst in your mouth as you eat them. Whereas these are small, so they kind of just crunch. I'd have to say if I were gonna rate them, I'd rate in terms of just these three, like the actual fish eggs, not the like the creamed one or the imitation one. I do this one as a first. And then I don't know. When I initially tried it, this one was better than this one. So I'm probably going to stick to it. They're both, like I said, they're not the freshest at this point. But I don't think you're supposed to eat them alone. Like I've tried caviar once before. Where uh, I was at my partner's family's house for New Year's. And we had caviar. And we had a red caviar and we had a black caviar I preferred the black caviar then as well um, it's just not as like intense in your face fishy flavor but um, I don't know like it wasn't even here it was in California so uh, like theirs could be sourced differently obviously but I don't know if it's a taste thing or a texture thing for these like I said I'm gonna eat them Look at them all smooshed down. That's such an entertainment. Look at my Kate. Gwendol, say hi. She's like, no. Um, yeah. So that was interesting. I'm very parched now, so we're gonna drink some water. Um, yeah. Oh, my point. Even there, when the, like, his family is used to having caviar for certain events like New Year's. So it's not uncommon and like it wasn't like you here take a scoop of caviar. It was on like bread with something under it. I don't know if it was laughing cow cheese or like some kind of soft cheese. But there was something on the bread and the caviar on top and it was delicious. So it's probably how I'm going to finish out my caviars. And um, yeah, maybe Gwendol's will have some. I don't know if she can. I'll ask my boyfriend. He knows more about cats than I do. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've tried caviar, let me know if you've tried different kinds. So we had seaweed, cod, salmon, I'm assuming sturgeon, and lump fish. So there you have it, boys and girls. Um, it's not as expensive as I would have thought. The salmon row from TNT was $8.49. The caviar from the European market that I'm assuming is sturgeon was $9.72. And it was the salted kind. Apparently, if you get it with not as much salt, it's a little bit more expensive. And then, I can't remember. I think the black caviar, this was from TNT as well. Uh, and I think it was like 15 so it's not too bad the black caviar from the European grocer however was 59 for 50 or 59 49 for 50 grams and it just came in like a little like a little tub not like this, this is huge but like it was 50 grams in a very small tub and it was $50 so 
I don't know. It might be. I don't know what that would be. What kind of fish that would be. But this was 15. So. And you get. A bunch. 100 grams. So. One is 50. Essentially. 49. And this one's 15. So I don't know. That one was my favorite. Like I said. Comment down below. Where you go to get caviar. Where you're watching from. You know. If it's easy to find. Um. If you've tried it, what your thoughts are. I don't know where the cat went and the rabbit though as well. Horrifying. Anyways, enjoy your day and thank you for checking out my video if you got to the end. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Um, I do this kind of shenanigans all the time. It's always awkward. You were warned at the beginning. Thanks guys. Mm, until I see you next time. Bye.